your girl Kama Queen and we are back here with another video. Today we are going to be um, doing a, I'm going to be doing a video with my sister called uh, Letting My Sister Ask Me Questions That She May Have Always Wanted To Know Or That She May Think People May Want To Know About Me. And we're going to be doing a video. She's going to ask me the questions. I'm going to try to be honest. Say like not. I'm going to be as honest as I can. And yeah. Make sure y'all stay tuned. It's about to get real spicy. But yeah. Go ahead. Introduce yourself. My name is Demetria. And who are you? Oh, I'm... Wait, Don't be acting shy on my camera. Because I'm not cutting this out. Can you please, sister? No, you can say Reese. Oh, okay. I'm Reese's sister. Say? Okay. And I'm going to be asking you some questions. Alright, don't be acting shy because you wanted to do this, so you cannot be acting shy. Alright? Hold on, y'all. So, she said she got her questions ready, so we're going to sit here and we're going to start. Number one, because okay. I'm ready. So, the first question I have. I can hear you. Is <laughs> what was your first accomplishment in life? Mm -hmm. My first accomplishment. One big thing. I feel like, hmm, I'm old, girl. <laughs> <laughs> My first accomplishment. Hmm. I mean, I had a lot of accomplishments in life that I accomplished myself. Um, dang, the first one, not the biggest, the first. Yeah, the first. All right, the first accomplishment. Dang, I wasn't ready for that question, girl. All right, I would say my first accomplishment was, I probably, because I had accomplishments since I was 14 years old, but I'm not going to give y'all a whole backstory of my life. So, I would say my first big accomplishment to myself was um, graduating high school. And not only that, I would say graduating college with my associates. I was going to say maybe starting work at 14 or maybe um, my first car or getting my license or something. But I did that kind of at the end. Yeah, dang, I got a lot. All right, I'm gonna just stick with graduating from high school and college. My first two years of college. Okay. Next question is, if you could go back in time, what is one thing you would change about high school and some high school advice that you give? Mm. Oh yeah. By the way, yeah. High school. high school. All right, she going to high school in September. So. What's the question again? <laughs> if you could go back in time and change one thing about high school, what would you change? Okay, if I can change one thing about high school, hmm. Okay. It will probably be Dang. If I could change one thing about high school. I don't know, I probably would say, I probably would have wanted to experience, I didn't have a bad high school four years, so I probably would have wanted to see what my life would be like if I went to another high school besides the one I went to, but other than that, I wouldn't change nothing about high school, because I had a good four years of high school, and when I say good, I don't mean like, oh, it's perfect, but like, by the time I was in 12th grade, I only had three classes. Like, I finished everything I was supposed to. Um, I did everything I had to do in high school. And I was going to work. So, I wouldn't really change much. Like, I had a fight in high school. But I wouldn't I wouldn't take that back or change it. Because I feel like it kind of made me who I am today. Like, participated in who I am today. Made me stronger. You know, not letting nobody bully me. Or, you know, make me look or feel weak. I handled my business and that was that. I wouldn't change that. So, 
I was in cheerleading. That was technically my sport. So I would say like, oh, I could be more active, but I was active. I was in cheerleading. Um, yeah, I wouldn't really change much about high school because I didn't have a bad experience in high school. Um, maybe like outside of school, but like I wouldn't change nothing about high school. And my advice to you is stay on your game, pass your classes, do what you got to do to get through school. Don't get distracted by friends, cutting class, or anything like that because that can be a distraction. Um, don't worry about like who's popular, who's not, because most of the time the popular kids is failing classes, not doing what they're supposed to be doing, acting cool. I would just say you could be cool and stuff, make friends. Um, this is your years where you make friends because it's going to be like kids from all over rather than just your charter school you was in. So I would say make friends, um, stay out of drama, mind your business, go to class, and do what you got to do. Try to keep your grades up. That's the best advice I would give you. Try to keep your grades up. I don't know if I'm going to make you work like I did, but just try to keep your grades up so you can finish school on time or early and be done. Start your real life. Yes, that okay. is my advice to you. Another question is... Pick your head up when you ask a question so we can hear you. Sorry. Um, some... Well, I kind of react to One childhood memory. One childhood memory. One of my childhood memories... <laughs> I'm laughing, but it's not that funny, but I'm laughing just thinking about it because it was a good time. One of my childhood memories that y'all probably don't know is, I got a lot, but I'm going to stay one, is um, that I wish, you know, I can see today would be um, wishing that Jocelyn was still here, which was Speed's first daughter that I passed away that was my best friend that was like my dog and I would never forget that like her mom would always be saying like oh she can't come over she can't come over to grandma's house because she got work and stuff and we always wanted to get together on the weekend me her Tati all of us but one thing she was so funny like a comedian one thing she would um do like we used to do I don't know why we would <laughs> Well, I do know why, because, like, B is into church, and she was, Jocelyn was into church, because she was making her be into church. One thing she would make us do is play church in Grandma's backyard. And when I say she made us play church, like, we would get all the folded chairs that we would use for barbecues and stack them in the rows in the backyard. And we used to be sitting down, she used to be preaching to us and stuff, then we get up, start shouting and all of that. We was kids, so we ain't really, we wasn't like imitating church or making fun of it. We was imitating church, but we wasn't like making fun of it. We was doing it like to have fun. Like we thought that was funny or whatever. So that's one childhood memory I would love um, to relive. Just her in general, just to like see her today. Cause we were like, we were the same age and everything. That's somebody I went to private school with when we was in um, third grade and everything. We grew up together. Like, our moms was friends all their life. So, that's somebody I would want to see today. Just to see, like, what she would be doing. Because I think she would be doing similar stuff to me. Like, you know, like, have her own place, her own car, whatever. Graduating college, like, I did. I think she would be living a similar life to me. Even, or even better, like, than me. But that's somebody that I feel like I could call and be like oh whatever I don't think she would have kids yet either like me like she was just like so a good person like silly too like that she remind me of that um, yes that's one of my childhood memories I wish I could relive what is one of your weaknesses one of my weaknesses dang you gotta have these people in my business girl one of my weaknesses, um, one of my weaknesses, 
is that I can be sensitive, I guess you can say. Like, I'm like a, a sour patch. Like, I could be sweet and sour. And don't be shaking your head at the camera like that. And I feel like um, I don't like, I look at it as a weakness, like when I'm sensitive. So, like, I don't like showing sensitivity. I don't like being sensitive. I think that would be one of my weaknesses. Okay. I ain't gonna go too much into that, but that's a weakness. Um, when did you have your first kiss? My first kiss? Ew. I don't know. <laughs> When did I have my first kiss? Um, my first kiss? I th think, no, them boys, I was about to say, I think I had my first kiss when I was in third grade. Um, but I didn't kiss. I, it was two boys that was friends. They both was talking about they wanted to kiss me. But I, I thought that was nasty. I didn't kiss them. I would probably say my first kiss probably when I was in fifth grade. So what are you like ten maybe? Yeah. I would think my first kiss was around there because I had a boyfriend in fifth grade. I was, you know, getting to that age, goodbye to go to middle school. I don't know why I would have been kissing, but I'm sure it probably was around that time. Okay. Like just a pack, not crazy. <laughs> I'm doing good, yeah. Doing good. One of the wildest things that you ever did. One of the wildest? What do you mean, wow? Like, like one of the wildest things that I ever did. Yeah, something like. Ah. Uh, wow. Something like wow. Okay. One of the wildest things I ever did. I would say hmm, when I was young, or like how. They can be young now. Okay. Wildest. I would say one of the wildest things I ever did was. Ma, if you're watching this. <laughs> if you're watching this, mind your business. I was a child. I'm an adult now. One of the wildest things I ever did was tell mommy I was going. Because um, me and my friend had went away to tell grandma. Um, in Georgia so I told mommy I was going to Georgia again with my friend went to her grandma like probably like two weeks later but I really went to see a boy in Delaware and I took the Chinese bus in New York City by myself I could have got kidnapped or something my mommy never had a clue she thought I was really with my friend and I really went to visit a boy because he was away at college at Delaware State DSU that was a wild thing to do that I would probably never even do today because when I bring this to my next question okay have you ever snuck anyone in the house have I ever snuck anyone in the house I did one time one time only um I guess I, it was like some of a grade going to like you're right, right now I was going to ninth grade and I had a boyfriend was my boyfriend and um, mommy was working all the time so I was like he wanted to see me I wanted to see him we were together for like a year and some change and I'm like okay hmm I know her schedule I know what time don't get no ideas either I was like I know her schedule I know what time she come home I was just having to come over for a little bit I was babysitting um, Tyrese anyway. so I was like I told her Tell him to come over for a little bit and then he'll be gone by the time she come home. But you know how sometimes she would do the y'all like come on lunch break? She came early on her break and we just chilling in the living room, sitting on the couch. Tyrese so in his room playing the game. He brought a friend with him. So it's just his friend is sitting on one couch, me and him sitting on one couch. We just chilling. We wasn't doing anything, you know, frustrating. And I kept it in the living room, you know. So, um, yeah, she came in. She was, like, so shocked at me. I didn't even get, like, whooped or anything. She just was, like, she didn't even yell at me. She just was shocked. And then um, she was, like, oh, no. <laughs> I can hear it. She was, like, what is it? She said, oh, you done lost your mind. And I was, like, 
clothes. I'm about to get in trouble. But then she was like, they got to go. So when they left, she was like, why would you do that? You know, I'm at work. I'm not here. Like, anything can happen. Like, that's so dangerous. Like, I would rather you have asked and me told you no than um, you sneaking somebody in the house. Like, and I was just like, yeah, you're right. And I was it. I never did it again. I just asked next time. And she started saying, yeah. But I got to keep the door open. <laughs> How do you feel about fighting? Fighting. I think fighting is so ratchet. Fighting is ghetto. Because I'm a, a Barbie. So no. no, I think fighting is ghetto. I think fighting is not classy. I don't think beautiful girls should fight. Like us. And you. My little sisters out here. Watching us. I don't think no... Uh, I don't think females should fight in general, whether you're beautiful or a little beautiful, whatever. I don't like pulling people to that's the word. But yeah, I don't think fighting it, um, nobody should fight. I think fighting is for girls that don't care about themselves, don't love themselves, or just bitter and jealous and, you know, like haters. There's no reason, like, a female should be fighting. Unless somebody try to put their hands on you, then you better throw them balls, but... Other than that, I don't feel like nobody should fight unless, like I said, somebody put their hands on you. Like little arguments and tip for tat. Like when I was in high school, I didn't have a lot of fights. I had probably about like in life, I'm saying. I had probably about like four, three, four or whatever. But high school, um, when I had that fight in high school, it was just like because it was early in the morning. I was cranky. Like that could be a story time for another day. But basically, moral of the story, I was cranky and people were coming to me in between classes, you know what I mean, switch class. People were coming to me saying she was looking for me and she was saying she was gonna slap me. And I didn't know why and I was just like, I'm not about to just let nobody slap me. So when I did finally see her and she started walking up to me, I was taking on my stuff because I had to be prepared. I was going to school cute, earrings on, bang, um, you know, like the little hoops and stuff. You ain't about to rip my earrings out. I took them over, I was passing them to my little boyfriend at the time. I'm like, hold this, please. And she came up to me, she was like, I heard you was talking about it. I'm like, girl, I heard you wanna slap me. You wanna slap me? And she was just talking, and then I was like, whoop. I at first, but if somebody, you gotta be prepared. If somebody, you hearing threats that somebody saying they gonna do something to you when they see you, so you just gotta be on point. But um, I don't like fighting. I'm not a fighter. I wouldn't cons even though I have fights. I wouldn't consider myself a fighter. I feel like that's for the birds, and I don't condone it. I don't think you should fight unless somebody is about to hit you, or hit you, or act like they want to hit you, or flinch or something. Then okay, that's different. Okay, um, she looking at me like I'm a joke right now, y'all. <laughs> she like. a whole list of questions over here when do you think is a good age for a boyfriend a good age or no let me change the question how do you feel about boyfriends how do i feel about <clears throat> boyfriends i can say a whole lot about boyfriends i think the first question is better i think okay. it's good okay i think a good age for a boyfriend hmm. never nah i'm gonna be realistic a good age for a boyfriend is probably like, like 17, 18, I would say is a good age. Cause then you're about to be like out of high school or you're out of high school and um, they can't distract you from like your schoolwork. But then you're starting to go into that college phase. If you go to college or not, every college is not for everybody. But um, you starting to get into your young adult age like really and i feel like you know 17 18 is a good time like anything younger i would say wait save yourself don't let these boys distract you because they can be a distraction um let me see 
last two questions. This one kind of really last what? Two questions. Last two questions. We already kind of talked about this, but how do you feel about drugs? Drugs. Oh yeah, we gotta talk about that. That's the So I feel like do not do drugs. I do not condone drugs. Don't do it. It ain't it. Absolutely not. Now when you say drugs, there's a lot of drugs out here. Okay, like smoking, vaping. Okay, vaping. I'm I'm not a big fan of the vape. I'm not a big fan of the vape. I heard some stories about it, but I feel like all oh, smoking is bad. Even marijuana, even though they be saying like, oh, certain stuff is good for you. I feel like all smoking is bad. If you don't go into that, go down that route, don't smoke. Um, I'm, I do, I can say that people try it for the experience. It don't be for everybody. I'm not going to say a lot of you and say like, oh, you're never going to try to smoke or something. You may not, or you may try it. But I would just say don't let yourself get hooked on smoking don't get addicted to no type of smoking substance and smoking is not good for you i don't think vape is good for you none of those pens i don't use those as you can see i just smoke hookah but that's not even good for you so yeah if you don't have to don't smoke but if one day when you get older and you want to experiment do your thing but just don't get hooked on it I would say okay actually two more questions well is this one enough yeah she keeps saying two more questions two no really this is last okay were you ever depressed and how did you get over it if you were were I ever depressed let me ask you a question even though this is my question I'm going to answer do you think I was ever depressed before maybe like when you were younger when my like, mom used to get on you a lot and try to walk to school or back to school watch her and stuff maybe like that okay is that the only time you think i was depressed do you think i was ever depressed as an adult let me think actually yeah mm, around the time when um it's around the same time but it's a little don't be talking about my business now. I don't care. Okay. When um, I get up, it's up, it's up. One, say it one more time. Yeah. Okay. I was in the zone, right? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I've been depressed um, plenty of times. I feel like people go through. Every everybody goes through some type and form of depression. Um, some people depression is more severe than others but it takes time only thing I can really say about depression because I go through depression um, often I'm not gonna say oh, I'm depressed every day of my life no but um, have I been depressed since I've lived out here yes of course but how do you get through it and past it I would just say pray Pray, pray, pray. Pray to God. Don't let nobody tell you or make you think God is not real. Because even though we can't physically see him, he is real. So I just pray. Like, I pray, like, when it's 11 11. I pray in the morning when I wake up. And sometimes you forget, and that's okay. But I would just pray, especially when you feel like you're in a dark space and you're in those dark times. Just pray. Even if you're in the shower, pray. And I will also say cry. Cry. Crying is healthy. Um, you have to let it out. I'm not saying just walk around all day crying. Crying in front of everybody. No. Cry in the shower. Cry before you go to bed if you have to. Cry in the morning when you wake up if you have to. Just cry. Like, rather than letting it build up, I would say the best two things that I can... Um, give for advice is to pray to God because he hear everything that you're praying for he hear everything that you're seeing 
Some things he may can't change, but he can help heal you. So I would say pray to God and cry so that you won't be bottling anything up. And, um, you know, like, explode one day. Like, you got to let that out because then you may, like, you know, let the depression take over you and the devil take over you and take it somewhere else where it don't even have to go that far and just always remember like you was brought here for a reason a purpose and whatever you may be depressed about it's gonna be better times coming ahead okay last question is how many kids do you want that is not just a question um, I would say, <clears throat> how many kids do I want? I only want two kids. Yeah. Okay. If I get one, I would be happy because I'm getting older, but tops, the max, two. Okay, that's all my questions. Yay! Nice. did you have a question? Come over, come see the camera. Come sit right here. Okay. She says she has a question for her sister, guys. My question is, why did you move to I lived in New York all my life. And I just wanted, I always dreamed of moving out of New York when I got older. And I would tell mommy, like, oh, I'm going to move to, like, Atlanta. I'm going to move to Georgia and stuff. And she would be like, well... She always remembered that and she would tell me like when I got older, she'd be like, Maybe you say you're gonna move to Georgia, maybe you say you're gonna move to Atlanta. Atlanta is in Georgia. She'd be like, Maybe you say you're gonna move there, I'm gonna move too. I'm gonna get out so we could be close to you. And I'm like, come on. I'm not moving to be like away from y'all and y'all come with me. You know? I'm just moving just to see like how would it would be living somewhere else. So, I can get that feeling of living somewhere else outside of New York, but still being close to you guys, like all my family, because I was scared to just take a big jump, like, and move somewhere so far, and so I can't see my family, I can't see my friends, but you have to show my business. It's like, um, I still can drive to you guys, like, I don't have to take a plane or anything like that, so it's not that far, and just for a different experience to say like, oh, I did it. Like, I do miss New York um, a lot of times because ain't nowhere like New York. Even people that's not from New York know it's nowhere like New York. But um, sometimes you just need change. And I felt like it would help me find myself more and mature and just give me another side of light to look at so yeah just to see if life would be a little different for me that's your only question yep you don't like i do it's like close to new york you see the light it's like kind of dark yeah you just saying where i actually live you just see I the like light that you because like when we like want to get away or when you take us it's like we're not close to home so we don't we can't just go oh let's go over here let's go here. it's like we're really like like on a vacation yeah because then all of our family live in new york so it's like different you know so you get to visit somebody somewhere else or whatever but sometimes i think about moving back to new york um even if I did, like, I would want to move, like, um, maybe, like, in a Manhattan. But I feel like that's so busy. Like, Manhattan is a very busy place. Or maybe, like, Queens or something like that. Like, not where we live, like, in Long Island, but just so it could be different still. But I don't know. I want to move far, like, out of state. But I feel like that would take a little time. Like, 
maybe if I like started a family and stuff, then y'all really could like get on the plane and come visit me. But mommy wants to move out of state too. So maybe I'll be getting on the plane to come visit y'all. Who knows? But her, cause she's like a mystery. You don't want to talk about your mama? <laughs> All right, guys, so that sums up this video. Um, I think it was a good one. Coming to camera, guys. Uh, my weekend with my sisters. Have fun. I think you have fun this weekend. Let them see you. They can't see you. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. I had fun. Y'all will okay. see you in the next video. What or maybe before this video. Oh, yeah, yes. Did you have fun this weekend? So, yes, I had fun with them too. This one is a handful, but as she get older, she will calm down. But yeah, I had a good weekend. It's so nice. We're sitting outside right now. They brought some games out, so we may play a game or two. And then I'm gonna go up, cook dinner, cause tonight is Tuesday, so that means it's Taco Tuesday. Yeah, we're gonna hang out and they go home tomorrow. I'm getting rid of these girls. <laughs> they going home tomorrow. Back to their mama. They've been here for how many days it's been? Do y'all know? Since uh, Friday. Friday. No, it was Thursday. No, yeah, Thursday, Thursday night. So Friday, so. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Six days. Six days. Who, who's sister gonna let them stay with them for six days? Yeah, because I'm the best. And y'all better not ever forget that. Who's the best? Okay, period. But yes, uh, we are out because this video went a little long because I couldn't think of my responses right away. So make sure y'all stay tuned for the next videos. And yes, we are out. Peace.